okay, so for your crucifix, mm-hmm. here, seat belt is good. Yeah. You want to get the hand under. Yeah. That's it. That foot is up. This other hand is holding on to my bicep so that when you go into it, you open it up so that way you can slide your knee in. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's go on the other side. From internal position, foot up, bang, that's it. Okay, so again, from the internal position, put both knees down. That's it. Go from seat belt, under hook it, foot up for leverage. That gives you leverage so you can turn me over. And then once my back is on the floor, you open up this one. So that way you can actually put your knee under my arm. Okay, so let's go through it from this position. So there, foot up. Put my back up on the floor, switch through, put the legs in, get that leg in the back. That's it, lean towards me. And your objective basically from this point is wanting to drive, grab both hands together. And then you really sit back and crank on my neck. Okay, so now I want to try to escape from this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to close this elbow so it breaks this grip. So I close the elbow. I start to bridge my hips up. I bridge my hips up and I put the back of my head towards the floor. So I close that, I bridge up like that, and I'm pinning his arm or your arm with my head. So this arm is free now, and then I turn over and I I grab you, I start getting up on my knees. Okay, let's try it again. Let's go somewhere. So that's the escape from there. Again, up. So don't get my back completely on the floor, start sliding through. Get that foot in the back. This is going to help you to put more weight towards my neck. And this foot, the toes are in the floor, so you can push back on my neck. Like that. So now I, I feel I'm comfortable in this position. I'm actually in the crucif- crucified position. So I'm going to start to close this elbow so it breaks this grip. And I, I bridge my hips up. My hips are up. This arm is strapped with my hand, you can't take it out. And then I reach around and grab my two hands together. And then I kind of do like a, sh- uh, a shrimp somewhat. And I get up to my knees. Now I can go here, get him over. I can even finish with a side choke. Okay? Let's go back. One more time. From there. Up. Oh. Turn it. That's good. Right. My back is the floor. Get me down, get me down. Turn me more to the floor. Get the foot in the back. That's it. Back cranking. I stop that. Close that. This grip. Head up. Turn. Let's start getting to my knees. And there's a nice side choke right there. Side choke, I want to make sure I put his back on the floor. So let's start to push. Get his back on the floor. Get really, really tight. Put my knee on his stomach. Let's start to push forward so I can finish my choke. Okay, so let's go. I'm going to show you the escape. You do the escape now. So I'm going to turn you over. Put some more. So here, seat belt, foot up. I want to open that arm. As this back gets to the floor, I haven't made my transition yet, but this knee, I'm going to slide it underneath the arms. So I want you to close that elbow, bridge your hips up, that's it, grab me around the body, and get up to your knees. Nice, again. Yeah. Go from a different angle. Seat belt, I underhook the same time I put this foot up. The other arm is going to open that one. So I let him hit it back on the floor. My body's behind his head, controlling. I slide that knee in there. My objective is to try to grab two hands so I can really crank on his neck. Close the elbow, bridge up, pushes me there, get up, and attack my back. Yeah, other angle, right there. There. Controlling his head with my body. Slide the knee through. Get a good grip on it. Big up. That's it. Let's do it again. One more time. I want you to close that elbow. Because even if I have a grip, mm-hmm. it's uncomfortable for my grip. Right. Once you close the elbow against it, okay? Let's try it again. So I'm grabbing here. Close that elbow. Close that. That's it. 